All right, welcome back to Fat Guy in His Backpack. We're gonna do a short little trail today. We're going on the river trail here in Hollister. And uh, we had a lot of rain here. Uh, last time I did this, this was all dry. And uh, we'll see what it looks like now after all the rain we had. So it should be kind of exciting. Uh, Uh, we are doing a walk on the river trail here. Uh, see all this? That right there is not a lake, trust me. You do not want it. And you don't want to walk in there either. But this is the river trail, as it's called, I think. Um, anyways, it... Uh, starts way over there so I'm getting kind of in the middle but going to the wild area I was hoping to take our dog but uh, he hasn't had all his shots yet so um, I don't have my walking stick this is just a short little trip on the trail um, but it rained it rained a lot while we were in Tennessee and Kentucky and Virginia and some of the other states we went to and uh, so I thought, hey, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Uh, let me show you as we go around. Everything is green. Look at that, huh? It hasn't been this green in a long time. In fact, Hold on a second. <laughs> the police department created a hostage negotiation yeah. team. Their motto is, talk to me. We don't want to teach you to be a John Wayne. We want to teach you to be a devout. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> this is the podcast. I'll talk to me pretty good. Um, I keep hearing that noise. What the heck? Um, so anyways, you see everything is really green. Look at this. Oh, this is how much rain we've had. Uh, so, and these right here, uh, these aren't dams. Those were affectionately, as we call them here in Hollister, the Poupons. Um, that used to be our sewage. Now they have a sewer plant which many of us, including myself, think we overpay for. Uh, but hey, what are you going to do? And I think I wasn't going to do it, but maybe I will. Uh, there's a little rock over here. It will work, I think. Yeah, I think it will. All right, got some rocks here. Private property, no trespassing. Huh. Well, I don't think anyone really listens to that. So. We'll go down there all the time. Um, but, yeah, this will work. I wasn't going to do this, but why not? All right, we'll go ahead and get set up. We're going to do our taste test. I brought some bacon bit bits. I'm going to add this to it to add a little flavor. So I guess I am kind of cheating. But hopefully this will work. Mushroom risotto. All right, this is from Maine. Good to go. The last one we had, the, the uh, corn cheddar was not that great. So I got one more there. So this will be the last one I try of theirs. If it's not very good, I don't know if I'll try another. Uh, but we'll give this a shot here in a second. Heat it up and see what it tastes like. And uh, it says one serving, so it's not very big. And whoever makes these are big vegetarians, because they always say veg vegan. So hey, there you go. Apparently there's a difference between a vegan and a vegetarian. One eats tofu sandwiches all the time, other eats eggs, I guess, or fish. Which I don't know about you guys, but I always find that kind of odd. So you can't kill a cow, because it's, quote, cute. But... You can 
Oops. You can if you want. You can kill a, a fish. Fish is okay. So I guess if it's cute, then just not, you're not supposed to eat it. Um, Say so back to my Euro bag. Now that we are approaching summer again, I think I might go back to this and not use my orange bag. I'll keep that for the winter and fall when I have to carry a jacket with me. But I have this on, my sweater. It's not very, uh, not really needed. So we'll go ahead and uh, try this. See how it works. Got, yeah, got my fuel bag here. Hopefully I brought it with me. Well, maybe I didn't. So we may not be doing this after all. I may just have to delete this whole section out. That's what we got here. That we did. I threw it in here. If not, then hey, we'll just get on the trail. Oh, good news. <laughs> I did bring my lighter. Thought maybe I didn't. Um, so we're going to be trying this out today. Uh, both my original batteries for my camera ran out, so I, that's why you're not charging them. Uh, but luckily I have my spares. I did buy a new camera because this one's got a crack on the end. And I think it's starting to affect the quality of the camera. So I just bought a new Acasso, got a good deal. They took like 50 bucks off it. I thought about getting the 7, but I have everything set up for my LE. So I think I'm just going to keep that. Um, I'm curious about the the 8 when it comes out. Really curious how much a better product. Really, one of the things they need to do is work on the sound quality. I have to use an external microphone. Um, so we'll see. See what happens. But right now we're boiling our water. Take a look at it. We are at a lower elevation here. It's boiling pretty quick. And again, we are going to be trying mushroom rosati, risotto. And I brought some stuff to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Because last time, I've tried two of their meals. Both of them were the corn chowder, and they were not very good. So this is the mushroom risotto. We'll try this one, give it a shot. Um, got a spoon here, which I've never used. Uh, so I'm going to add some bacon bites. These are freaking good. I can just eat these by themselves. Um, I kind of got brought it because I'm really hungry right now. Uh, so anyways, we're back. Oh, also thought I'd show something off. My, wearing my tan pants again now that winter is over and fall. So I, you know, I'm kind of stylish according to the time of year. I like to dress appropriately. Uh, so yeah. Brat back to the tan pants. Although you can see I'm wearing sneakers today. Because this is just gonna be a short little video down to the river here. I just want to check it out. See how high it is. Um, this is not green before. It rained a few days this week. So I think we're done for the year, but who knows? Well, at least till the fall. It'd be nice if we got a little more. Just a little extra, a little cushion, I think, because we've been in a drought for so long. So We'll see. So, all right, we'll get started here. Ah, it's boiling now. All right, so hold on. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. Oop. I keep it. I'm putting it right next to the fire, which is really stupid. So hopefully, give this a whirl. All right, see what it looks like inside. There, there's what it looks like. It looks like just powder, honestly. So, but we'll give it a shot, see if it's any good. Sorry about the moving around of the camera on this rock here, trying to get it right. Again, not salt. All right, so it's boiling now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy off. There we go. That's off. Yeah, let's go ahead and just add a add some of this bacon. Oops. There we go. So that's what it looks like with a little bacon. All right. 
right, so let's see what this says. Well, tw <laughs> I should have looked before I leave. This takes 20 minutes going to this, so. All right, so I'll probably just eat it as I walk along because I'm not gonna wait here in the same spot for 20 minutes. Again, remember these things get really hot. So what I'm okay. So let's go ahead and start this up. Hopefully, I won't burn myself. All right. So let's go ahead and read this. Okay. Tear, remove. Uh, add a little more than one cup. Did that boiling? Yes, boiling water to bag. Stir and reseal. Okay, so I gotta stir it. Let's go and do that. Got my my spoon here. Never used. So let me show you as we stir it. What it looks like. I didn't add too much. Alrighty. So. Fill this up. All sealed. Okay. And we're going to wait around for 20 minutes. Da na 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 na. All right, I'm, I'm not going to wait, make everyone wait 20 minutes, but by the time 20 minutes is over, because you'll know I'll be eating it, timer, 20, man, 20 minutes, that's a long time. All right, there we go. 20 minutes, and we'll be back in 20 minutes. And... We'll probably have seen the river, kind of walked around the river, and then we'll by the time, that time we'll be ready. All right, so here we go. Oh, as you can see, I'm holding my mushroom risotto. So let's see how this works out. There's a little trail right here we can go into. In fact, you can see the river from here. Uh, 98% of this river is seasonal so usually by well last few years usually about right now it started to to dry up so this year though we've had a lot of rain look how green everything is holy smokes Isn't that beautiful all right so we're gonna walk down here And again, this is just gonna be a a nice easy going, an easy going trail. Okay, used to be a guy called Bob Ross. Um, that's how he used to always talk. Let's see. Uh, that's the easiest way to go down here. Yeah. All right, we'll do a little exploring here. I've been down that way. I haven't been down this way, so let's check this out. If it's too muddy, I'll go back because I'm just wearing my sneakers today. There's a little pool right there. That'll all dry up here soon. Don't want to know what's in there. Let's see. Uh, all right, hold on. Hopefully, it did rain a little bit. You can see it's starting to crack. That means it's going to start to harden up here. Rain it all start to do what happened there. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Ay, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're we are gonna head back. 
I just lost my shoe. That's not good. I think I would just stick on the trail there. Hopefully I can... Ugh, dang it. All right, this should, this should be interesting. At least I brought a first aid kit, huh? Hopefully. Wait. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay, I just lost both my shoes. Ah. I was hoping I wouldn't lose the. Uh, okay, I haven't lost my socks yet. That's good. Let's see if we can. All right, this is gonna be an interesting video. Gosh. My hands are covered in mud now. Try not to sink. Luckily, my socks seem okay. Damn. All right. I did not see this coming at all. Well, there's the river over that way. Let's see if we can do this without losing a sock. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> uh, I should have worn my hiking boots. I did not. Let's see if we can make it. It's getting a little harder. No, of course. There we go. All right. This was really not the smartest move. Oh. Man, this mud is thick. All right, it's starting to harden up now. A little water over here. I don't know if I'll put my hands in it. Okay, here's the deal. Yeah, it's really muddy. All right, I made it out of there. Ah, damn it. Okay, so. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One day I don't wear my hiking boots, I just wear my normal sneakers. And they are, these aren't even in the best shape. Kind of like them though. Oh, I, like I, got, I got a lot of mud stuck to my socks though. So that's good. Of course, my headphones fell off my head. Oh. All right. So. Let's see what we can do up here. Uh, there is, okay. I'm gonna cut across here. There is a cover, my hand is covered in mud. Took a mud bath. I, I swear that was not part of the plan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We should have gone that way. There's not any mud at all. Uh, maybe I'll just sit here on the ground. Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, not too bad though. Could be worse. 
Shoes covered in mud. Well, here we are, guys. I'm sitting on the ground here. I got a lot of dirt on my camera here. Uh, I'm just going to walk right over there. And, uh, then, ah, there's my alarm. Just in the nick of time. So we're going to try our risotto. See if it tastes any good. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera down here. And we'll go ahead and get started here in a second. Give it a shot. Right here. But to give this a fair shot. Now I didn't bring my journal. My hiking journal. But I'll write it down there when I get home. Just so we have a taste. And remember I did put some bacon in here. So we'll see what it tastes like. All right, it's a little bland, but far better than the, uh, the, the corn chowder. So <laughs> my hand, my feet all covered in mud and <laughs> look like I stepped on a piece of dog crap, but I did not step in dog crap, it's mud. All right, so this is for hiking or backpacking. So I've got some pepper right there this is a great little deal hold on and just plop it in like that then you there's a thing here you turn and honestly the pepper in here is just pepper I got from like McDonald's Taco Bell now we've got some uh, other seasonings in here There's some nacho cheese and here's some salt so we're going to open that one up all right let's go ahead and all right so we added a little seasoning it's not bad so far this tastes much better than the uh the corn chowder so, so far, I think I give this an okay. Just kind of bland without adding a little bit. This is good because it's bland without the salt I'm gonna give it an okay this is this is again uh, the mushroom risotto, risotto uh, classic risotto with sat sauteed mushroom I, I doubt that but all right mushrooms and basil paste handcrafted in our kitchen in small batches with clean ingredients. Well, that's good. You don't want dirty ingredients. Consider the fact I'm covered in mud. Uh, let's see whatever. What else does it say? Okay, I thought risotto was like noodles, but hey, I could be wrong because this has rice. I knew it was rice. Cause look here. Let me show you again. It definitely is rice so hey I don't think it's like real risotto but hey put my microphone here where you can hear me but what's what does it say is that uh, our barrio rice crimine mushrooms onions there's the onions in it actually uh, white white wine okay Pretty sure it's like the stuff you get winos get, but whatever. Extra virgin olive oil. Oh, olive oil. Extra virgin. This way I like my olive oil. Nutritional yeast. Okay. Garlic. You can taste the garlic a little bit. And the onions, but again, it still needed a little salt to improve the flavor. 
Uh, sweet rice flour, walnut. Okay. Basil. Uh, kosher salt. All right, I already had salt, but I didn't really taste it. Dried thyme. I I am not a thyme guy. I don't know what the hell that is. Black pepper. Contains walnuts and sulfites. So. All right. Let's give it another one. So far, it's okay. A little bland. Not too bad though. Not too bad at all. I don't know what it is, but sometimes not everything gets quite dehydrated, so I just will buy something that wasn't quite dehydrated. Just a little bit. So mushroom risotto, <laughs> like that's right. Uh, again, I'm not a risotto dude, so I, maybe rice is the norm. I, I'm not sure. I thought it was noodles of some kind. Uh, this is a purified water, 2023 from Rayleigh's. To go with my. <laughs> Risotto, which is just rice. Okay, it's gonna get okay though. Because I can eat the rest of it. That corn chowder, I could not eat the rest of it. And that other from, uh, what was it? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't remember. That other one, I, if I have my book, I remember. But that their, their cream of corn was not very good. Although I wonder if I'd added clams to that, or just bacon, which I put in here, if it would improve the taste. But yeah, that was bad. This is okay. This is okay. So we got good, okay, bad. This is okay. Not bad. Good job. Good to eat from Maine. <laughs> Cooking white wine. Oh, how exciting. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes. Hopefully we're going to start on the walk down this way. Show you. Down that way. Because my socks are covered in mud. And I was going to go down this way, but it's getting late. So, I'm going to head home after I take a little walk down there. Go walk my dog, Otto. Need some more of this. This is actually pretty decent. All right, guys. So, we are, I was going to go down that way. But I'm covered in mud. So, uh, I've seen a lot of what I wanted to see. The water's gone down a little bit, but we're going to be going on this path here. As you can see, we're really close to Hollister here. Uh, uh, my shoes are covering in mud, which is not good. Not a pleasant thing. Uh, but this is a seasonal river. And starting to go down a little bit and I decided I should have gone that way instead of decided to go that way because I've never gone that way before uh, that was a lesson learned and I'm just walking down here a little covering risotto sorry uh, thing to put your dog waist in all right, so let's go ahead and walk down this way. Hope I can see the river a little better from here. But it is nice to see everything green. Uh, this will last probably, this year might go through July. Usually around May, June, it starts to yellow up a little bit. But one of the interesting things is how quickly everything gets green. The moment we get rain, we were uh, in uh, 
back yeast and everything was kind of brown and uh, died back. So I assume in the summer, all that will spruce right up and you'll get a, an amazing uh, green there. But here in the west, at least California, ah, here we go. There you go, there's the river right there. See the water right there? So that's pretty nice to see. Uh, and about, eh, see, back in November, October, that was completely dry. Uh, and then we got all this rain this year, which was just a, an amazing blessing to get. The trail goes next to the old sewage, affectionately called the poo ponds. Uh, a lot of birds come here and use it for a lake, which is kind of gross. Um, they used to let goats wander along it. And I, got this. I remember hearing the goats did something for it. Uh, not sure what. Uh, and then they had a spill that spilled into the San Mateo River, which again is just a, a seasonal river. This river does not flow all year long. Uh, there'll be areas where there'll be water in it longer than most if it's in the shade. Uh, but so it's, it's flowing pretty good right now. But like I said, usually in the last few years around May, it almost completely dried up. This year it might keep going till July, uh, and then we'll just dry up. Um, I would never drink the water in that river, especially right in this area right here. The hobos use it for a toilet, so that's kind of drink at your wrist. All right, now I'm going to take it gently along here. Because there's the river again, nice and flowing. I don't want to lose my shoes. I'm going to go a little bit in here because this tends to be a lot of times where the homeless live. But there's an old car. I don't know how they got it in there. Let's see. Taking a risk. I was going to bring some bear spray with me, but I didn't. I'm just cautiously walking in here. There's a lot of little paths that go through there. Uh, look at that, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Uh, I'd be curious how they got this car in here, though. And then just abandoned it. So, I guess they drove it in that way. Doesn't look like a terribly old car, maybe from the 80s or 90s. Anyways. All right, so we're headed back. <sighs> made it out of that little foresty area, safe and sound. But places like that, at least here in California, is where a lot of homeless people tend to live. And I went hiking all the way down that way once and uh, some lady started yelling at me. And I should have filmed it. Or I should have kept that. I remember I deleted it. In fact, I have a short little two minute video of me on this trail. And uh, that was during the summer. Hoping there's a water fountain up here at this park. Uh, my hands are just covered in mud. Oh, I hate that. I hate the dry feeling. I'm gonna go to Target after this and get some lotion. <laughs> I'll tramp all the mud on my feet and their storm, so they're gonna love that. But I'm gonna head back.
But this is just right here in Hollister, so this is a beautiful trail. Um, you can start on the other side of the freeway there. And I've done that before, I did that last time. And just took this trail all the way back. Just make sure someone knows where you're going. I try to scare people away from taking this trail, especially when you go off into the river. Um, just keep your, uh, just be alert. No one's ever been hurt that I know of, but you, sometimes you get a lot of mentally ill homeless people. And you just never know, you never know. Yeah, it's nothing against the homeless. A lot of them are, like I said, mentally ill. You can't help it. Uh, sometimes due to drugs or whatever. Uh, but we have a, we don't have a huge population of homeless people, but we have a, a sizable amount of homeless people that live here. Uh, there's a couple that get a little aggressive sometimes, especially the ones that live in the river. And uh, you just always want to be alert. <clears throat> you just never know. Oh, look at that. A couple falcons up there. I don't know if you saw that guy on the bike. He probably lives here in the riverbed. back at civilization and right behind us the wild so there we go uh, it's a nice area to live like I said a million times but uh, feel free to like and subscribe last time I checked we were at 83 84 subscribers so hey we're almost to 90. I just realized that. Almost to 90. I'm going to rest right here for a second. Uh, 90 subscribers. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, fat guy in his backpack. Leave a comment in that comment bar. Don't get a lot of those. I'd like to get more. Some more ideas of where to go. And uh, maybe a better camera to use than this action camera. It works pretty good. It's uh, economical. Like I said, it's a poor man's action camera I use. I could use my phone. But it takes up a lot of battery, and so that's one of the reasons I got this camera. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers, all, gosh, 83 or 84, I think it is, which is pretty cool. As you realize, six, seven more, we'll be at 90. 90. That's older than I am. <laughs> Actually, I just turned 52 uh, uh, last month in March. So, uh, Anyways, so... I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday coming up. And thanks for uh, viewing and liking and subscribing. All right, hope you, hope you enjoy this little video. Uh, I'm sort of a little bit better prepared. I'm going to definitely do this one again. Uh, probably, let's say around July. No, June. We'll do it around June. See if there's as much water in the river. And this time I'll be a little better prepared. I also will bring some bear spray. Just because, again, the homeless here, is, they get aggressive, some of the ones along the riverbed here, and I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want, I, I try to not end up in the news unless it says I have 90 subscribers. All right, guys, thanks for liking, subscribing, thanks for watching, and look forward to seeing you next time on Fat Guy in His Backpack.